in 1982, I was 21 years old. I joined the Los Angeles Sheriff's de uh, Department, went through the academy. Here I am thrust into the Sheriff's Department at, at, the, at the ripe old age of 21. Being a lukewarm, uncatechized Catholic, I got thrust into the largest jail in the world. You have to work there for a couple of years before you hit the streets. It's called the Los Angeles County Jail. Largest jail in the world. In there, Taylor, we had the worst inmates in, in the Southwest. These were, we had the, the sociopath, psychopath, serial killers, mass murderers, uh, ritual killers, satanic killers. Mm. And I remember, I remember I asked the supervisor, the lieutenant sergeant, hey, I'm going to be here for eight hours a day. Can I read about these guys? I mean, I want to kind of know about the criminal mind before I hit the streets in a few years. They said, yeah, inside the watch commander's office, you can read all the police reports about every one of these guys here. You can read their psych evals. And you can read their probation reports. Over 60% of the guys that were serial killers and mass murders in this section of the jail, all of them had claimed to their psychiatrists, to the detectives, to the probation officers, parole officers, that they had killed, that they had murdered for Satan. Or a demon had told really? them. Or, or a demon had spoken to them. They heard the voice of a demon. Over 60% of them. I'm going to ask these guys if they can say Jesus is Lord. Because yesterday at Mass I heard that, hey, Nobody can say Jesus is Lord except right. by the power of the Holy Spirit. I did this to three different inmates in three different cells. I said, hey, instead of this jail slop that I'm going to give you here, I said, how would you like for me to go down to the officer's dining room? Because they fed the cops good in the jail. We had our own dining room, and they fed us like kings. I said, hey, how would you like me to get you some, some officer's meal, some food, order whatever you want? And the inmates were said, well, deputy, what do I have to do? What, what you know, is there, a, is there a trick? Is there a catch here? I said, all you got to do is say, Jesus is Lord, and I will go down and get you whatever you order. I'll sneak it up here because I can because I, I got a badge. Right. Now, the other two guys that were with me, the deputies, they're saying, Romero, what are you doing, man? This is crazy. To knock it off. Don't do this stuff. I said, hey, guys, just relax, man. I just got to do test something in my own mind. I asked the first Satanist. Say, Jesus, Lord, and you got the best meal that you've ever had in two years. Hey, that, absolutely. He tried to say, Jesus is Lord. All of a sudden, he starts clutching his throat like if something's choking him. And he's, Whoa. and it's like if there's cement in his mouth, his tongue gets thick. And he's saying, he's trying his hardest to say, Jesus is Lord, because he wants to eat a good meal. His face is turning different shades of red. His knees buckle and something, you can see something is choking him. His mouth is like there's cement or glue in his mouth. He can't say, but he's trying to say with all his might, Jesus is Lord, but he physically can't. The two cops that are there with me say, Romero, this is creepy. Knock it off. <laughs> yeah, no this doubt. This is creepy. No doubt. And I can tell you, these two guys felt exactly what I felt because we talked about it later. I said, what did you feel? They said, I felt like a piece of ice went down my spinal cord when this guy couldn't say Jesus is Lord. And when you, when, he, when you had him say that, Romero, he said, I felt a cold wind come into the section of the county jail where we were working. I felt like we were in a freezer. Mm. Now, by the way, I found out later that that's by Father Ripperger and others. That's the sign of the presence of the diabolical. No, it's cold. I did this, Taylor, to three different inmates who were satanic mass murder serial killers, right. not one of them could say Jesus is Lord. Not one of them. They all started wow. going through these physical manifestations as if something was impeding them and choking them and, and, and just shutting their mouth and their teeth tight where they couldn't say that. It was at that moment where I started saying, I'm 21 years old. I'm still not like a, a, what I would call a converted Catholic, but that was definitely where the Lord started speaking very powerfully to my young heart, and I started saying, wow, there's something to the Catholic faith. Wow.